Hi guys, today we're gonna learn how to make gong po chicken. This recipe tastes better than Chinese restaurant. Let's get started. You can either use chicken breast or chicken thighs. Dice the chicken into cube size, I want one inch length. This small size is good for stir fry to make sure the meat is cooked during the short time. Then we velvet the chicken. Add half teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and one egg white. Mix well. And put it in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes to ensure that the chicken form a protective coat which keep the moisture and flavors of the meat. After that, we'll do the oil blanching. Great, then now we prepare the sauce. Gumbo sauce has subtle sourness, which is from the black vinegar. Add 2 tablespoons. 2 tablespoons of sugar to give the sweetness to the dish. 2 teaspoons of soy sauce to bring out the flavors. 1 teaspoon of dark soy sauce to add some color. 2 tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine to add some fragrance. The sauce is important. Have a taste and adjust the quantity to your preference. Then combine with the cornstarch water as a thickener. Great! Then the gong po sauce is ready. Now we gonna oil blanch the chicken. Oil blanching is a very common technique in Chinese restaurants. This results in extra soft, silky and tender meat. We use it a lot when we need to stir fry any meat. Add the oil in the wok and heat up the oil in medium heat. Different from deep frying, the oil temperature is much lower, which should be around 100 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius, as we only want to blanch the meat. Transfer the chicken to the wok. You see the chicken is being cooked slowly, but not like crazily. Cook until the chicken just turn white, which is about 70% done. It takes less than one minute. I've got some egg whites floating on top. Just use a strainer to remove it. Then take out the chicken and set aside. If you don't cook very often, oil blanching may be too much for you because you have to handle all the oil. Instead, you can replace the oil with water do the water blanching, which can also keep the meat juicy and tender. Or just skip this step and do the stir fry directly. You're the boss. Awesome. Now we prepare the Sichuan peppercorn oil. Add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Turn to medium heat, then we add 1 teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn. Fry the Sichuan peppercorn slowly until their color turns brown. During this process, the flavors of Sichuan peppercorn is diffusing to the oil. Great, now it has turned brown, then we can remove the Sichuan peppercorns. We remove the Sichuan peppercorns because they are too robust for the dish. Instead, the Sichuan peppercorn oil has very nice aroma, which adds the beautiful flavors to the dish. Awesome, then now we can start cooking. Like all the stir-fried dishes, the cooking is very fast, so make sure you have everything ready next to you. Use the same Sichuan peppercorn oil, heat up the wok in medium heat, add the ginger mint, garlic mint, White part of spring onion, which takes a longer time to cook compared with the green part, and chopped dried chilies. Quickly stir fry for 30 seconds to release aroma. Then add the chicken and stir fry for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. In high heat. Then add the sauce, combine well, and let the sauce get thickened. It only takes around 10 to 20 seconds. Great, here comes to the last step. 
Switch off the heat, add the green part of spring onion, and a quarter cup of fried peanuts to add some crunchy texture. My previous video show you how to make fried peanuts. I put the link in the description box below. You can also use toasted peanuts, but no raw peanuts, which is not crunchy at all. The remaining heat will soften the green part of spring onion, which can be overcooked very easily. We also add the fried peanuts at the end so that they won't get soggy. Oh, don't forget to add 1 tablespoon of chili oil to add more aroma and red color to the dish. Check out my videos on chili oil as well. So many good videos in my channel. Then this is done. Transfer to the serving plate. Here you go. Amazingly silky, soft and tender combo chicken. It's served best with a bowl of rice. See how the sauce is nicely coated on the meat? Told you it's better than Chinese restaurant. Thanks for watching. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time.